forward. Good morning. Good morning. We'll start with our hands at the heart and I'll just touch this up a little bit. We'll start with our hands at the heart and take an intention, a moment to set the intention for the rest of your day. Beautiful. This is a safe pose you can come back to anytime you need it. When you're ready, lower the arms down, lift the arms up, and we'll go over to the side. Take that right hand down. I am gonna move us away just a little bit to have a bigger view. And hold five, four, three, two, and let the foot either cross in front or in back. I'll let you choose today. You can have some fun. Five, four, three, two, and inhale, come up, both arms stretch, go over to the side, hand down as you're ready. So we're breaking it down just a little bit, breathe into the sides of your body. Breathing, three, two, now when you're ready, add on a foot can cross to the front or the back, or you're welcome to stay right where you were. And five, and four, and three, and two, and one. And then come back up, stretching up. Take those feet out wide and we'll take a goddess posture. Now, first we're gonna take a five count down so your heels are very heavy. Two, your knees are tracking with the second toe and your shoulder blades are gliding up and down. You can leave any tension in the neck just by shaking out and hold this goddess posture. Do I have a light here? Nope, I don't. Okay, hold that. Five, four, three, two. Now keep the legs, but bring the hands down and drop a shoulder. Now this is gonna feel like the upper back is stretching and the inner thighs are stretching. Inhale and exhale. One more each. Inhale and exhale. And now we're gonna roll the flex of the spine into flexion and extension. Inhale, cat and cow. Exhale, inhale and exhale. Now one more and then roll all the way up. Let your legs go wide still. When your arms are stretched out, your wrists are over your ankles. Exhale, come down. Now your hands can follow along the ankles, maybe all the way down to the floor or the feet. Shake out any tension and relax the neck, relax the shoulders. Turn on the light over there. Five. Four. Three, two. Now adding on, interlace the fingers at the lower back and let the arms go over. Neck is soft. Five, four, three, two. Hands go to your hips, come up halfway. Now let your right hand or knuckles be on the floor and open up the arm, the left arm up so it looks like you're a windmill. You can look up or if that doesn't serve you, you can look down still. Five, four, three, two. Now bring that left hand down, open up the right arm and feel that shoulder stretch. Feel that back stretch, five, Four, three, two, and one. Now bring the hands to the hips and come up halfway. Now we're gonna push the feet into the floor and keep on going. The hands can be at the back body. Inhale, elbows squeeze together, five, four, beautiful. Three, two, and then come back into a more neutral position. We're gonna take the right knee 
into about 90 degrees. The feet might be a little uh, more stretched out. Take the palms and face them up. Now looking over that right hand, hold five, four, three, two. Bring the left hand back and open up the side. You see how it's very similar to half moon? Yeah, there you go, good move. Uh-huh, so it's backwards. Imagine you're in a toaster slot. Four, three, good, two, yeah, that's okay, Karen. You'll just even it out in a minute. <laughs> now go the other way, whichever way you didn't go. So now go over, that's it. Yeah, so, yep, there you go. And Karen, you can go the other way just because you went that way the first time. Yeah, it's not a problem. If both sides are getting stretched, that's right. Four, good, some of you might be lower. Two, good, that's great, Cheryl. Inhale. Now, as you're exhaling, you're opening up that rib cage so you're still in a toaster slot. You're gonna turn those feet. Now, the left toes are facing the wall, 90 degree angle. The back leg, the right leg is strong. We're palm facing up. Look over that hand. Five, four, three, two, now the right hand is gonna go back to the right thigh, go up and over, good. That's it. Now keep sinking into that left thigh, five, four, three, two, good, inhale and exhale. Palms up, lengthen that knee. Very good, walk the feet in just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna bend the right knee again. This time the hand can go down on the floor or on the thigh. This one can become all the way down if you would like, okay? Your choice, you could wrap, you don't have to. So you could be at 90 degrees. You could be lifting an arm. You could be holding uh, your hands around your leg. Three, two, Inhale, and then on your exhale, come back up and then bend that knee. Now you could be here or you could be here. Yeah, and then you could hand up, you could stretch it. Five, four, three, two, and exhale, come back up. You're gonna go all the way up. Now either step or jump like a cat. Springy fascia. Good, pull the fingers down, inhale, sit in a chair. Now the feet are in line with your hips. So I've got a little space because my legs, when they're in line with my hip, I've got a little space between my knees. So you can determine based on your structure, basically you want your heels, knees, in the middle of the hips. This is chair. Now slide the shoulder blades down the back. Your heels are heavier than your toes. You could lift up your toes. Five, four, three, two. Now on the one stand up tree, your left leg can go on your right. You can lift up those arms. Beautiful. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now palms come together, inhale. On the exhale, that foot comes down. We'll take it to the other side. Lift up, foot to the ankle or to the thigh and go up. Holding, good, nine. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, gorgeous. Inhale, look at that balance. Hands coming to the heart and letting that foot back down. Good, we're gonna add on. This is a shoulder stretch with that tree. Take that tree. And if you want to do the same thing, you can hands to the heart, arms up, or you can 
Try to take up cow face with your upper body. Yeah, there you go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, elbow high, three, breathing, two, and exhale, hands come together at the heart and lower that foot. Let's do the other side, inhale and exhale, foot up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Easier said than done. All right, take that other side. You go ahead, I'm just gonna be there in a minute. All right, here we go. Open up that knee, lift up that jaw. It's parallel to the floor. There's no neck tension. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then release. Bring those hands to the heart. Lower that foot. Beautiful. And we're going to take the arms down. Inhale, sit in a chair for a moment. Now, either that's your move, or if you want to take the right ankle to the left thigh, this is a pigeon. Now your right arm's gonna go underneath and you might even be able to hook your palms and hold. Shoulders and hip, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Inhale, now exhale, stand. Relax your hands at your heart. Let that blood pressure settle, sit in a chair. Left ankle to right thigh. That could be your pose. Pinky towards the uh, outer shin. Um, then if you want to add on. Garudasan arms, eagle arms, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take an inhale and let that down. Gorgeous. Lift up the heels. Now all of the toes have equal weight. Try to balance. 10, nine, eight, all the toes. You're making sure the ankles aren't pushing out to the side walls. Three, two, exhale, lower the heels, bring the hands to the floor. We're gonna take a down dog. Now down dog looks like an upside down B. You can bend one knee and bend the other. You can shake out any tension in the shoulders. And you can lift both heels and lower the heels and lift and lower and lift and lower. Now lower the heels down five, four, three, two, now you're gonna take the right leg up towards the sky and just have some fun. You can move that leg, you can flip that thigh, move it around in circles. If that's too hard, just leave yourself in a down dog. Inhale, stretch that leg. Now exhale, lower the right foot and then do the same thing with the left leg. Lift it up, have some fun, stretch it out. You can flip it, bend that knee. Toes, ankle, neck is soft, right heel dropping, inhale, good. Feel that big stretch. And exhale, that left foot comes down. Now lift the right leg up into three-legged dog. Exhale, put that right foot towards your hands. And you're gonna inhale and exhale. Bend the front knee and exhale, straighten. It doesn't have to be absolutely straight for you to feel a stretch. Just feeling a hamstring and hip flexor stretch. Three, two. Now we're gonna leave that right knee about 90 degrees and hold, lift up your heart. Five, four, three, two. Now on the exhale, straightening your right knee. It does not have to be absolutely straight. You might even pull your left foot in a couple of inches. There's that right hamstring. 
10, good. Five, very good. Four, yep, neck is soft. Three, two, and then on the one, put that right foot back and walk out your down dog. Inhale your left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale your left foot forward to your hands and go back and forth. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. In and exhale. Three, two, and you're feeling the hips, you're feeling the hamstrings. The next time that your left knee is about 90 and you're stretching out through the right leg, stay here, shoulder blade down the back. Betty, you're okay there, but if you want to bend the front knee, yeah, and then kind of, yeah, and lift your heart. Yeah, that's it. Good. All right, great. Five, four, right knee is really strong. That way the knee doesn't get saggy to the floor. Two, now, you can put your right foot in just a couple inches here. Now, begin straightening your left knee. Don't worry if it's not straight. Look, I've got a bend. You still get the hamstrings in a stretch, and you're not overdoing it. You're, you're gentle on the hamstring stretch. Relax your neck. Left hip steers back, right hip forward. Yeah, you can probably look down at your shin even more. Tuck the chin just a little. Yeah, there's no, there's no tension in that neck. Relaxing. Beautiful. Inhale. And go back to downward dog. Press the heels towards the floor. Stretch out the hands like pieces of pie between them. Five, four, three, two, and then one. Looking up at the hands, you can step or jump to get up there. Land like a cat. Halfway up position. Now let your blood pressure settle because we were upside down for a while. So if you need more time here, take it. Otherwise, go back into your back bend, inhale. And exhale, hands together at the heart. Sama Sitihi. Now inhale the right arm up and behind until you can find your foot or your ankle. And the left arm can be palm facing forward. That's it. Ten, standing tall. Nine. Beautiful, I can see you better, that's great. Eight, seven, six. Now I'm gonna to turn to my side, but don't you worry, I just want you to see me at a different view. Now you could add on your foot push, your thigh pushing behind you. Hips are still square. 10, eight, seven, five, four, three, two, and then one. Now come on down, your right foot's on the floor, hands at the heart. This whole side of my body feels more open now. I hope yours does too. Other side, left hand, left foot, right arm forward, holding. You're really tall. Good. And pull that knee more underneath you if you can. Yeah, if it doesn't hurt your knee, good. So that knee will try to be out here, but you're gonna pull it underneath your hip. I'm gonna turn just so you can see me. You don't have to turn, but basically you're gonna add on if you would like that push into your hand. Good. Two, three, four, five, Good, six, seven, that's okay. Eight, just come back if you can, nine, and then 10. And then come back, hands to your heart. Make a samasitihi. All right, now sitting in a chair. That could be your posture, the chair, or wrap your right thigh once or twice. Keep it up, hold. Uh -huh. All right, we're gonna mix it up. Second time through cow face. So 
Aha, see how that is. 10, 9, 8, 7, good. 6, 5, and if you're in squat, still make sure your heels are heavier than your toes. 2, so you're not leaning into your knees. And then extend. Hands to the heart. Let your blood pressure come back. When you feel equalized, sitting down, left thigh could wrap once or twice. The toes might hook, and it helps if you bend your left knee more. Square the hips. And yeah, left arm up. 10, 9, 8. Yep, that's better. Weight booty back. 8, yeah, 7, that's it. 6, your knee is over that uh, in line with the second toe. Three, yep, very good. Good scan, that way you know. Inhale and exhale, press. Now let the blood pressure come back. I can feel a little change with all those joints bent. So come back mm -hmm. and then add on. The fingers are gonna go towards the floor. We're gonna drop the booty. If you would like to add on, lift your heels. Now you're on all of the toes. Five, four, three, Two, drop, drop your heels. If you would like to add on, place your arms like a big wingspan, big open T. Five, four, three, two. Face front, and then go to the other side. And five, four, three, Two, inhale, and then exhale. Beautiful, now hands to the floor. I'm just turning so you can see me. Now downward dog, and relax. Spread out the hands. Left foot pushes on the right heel to get one calf and a deeper stretch. Five, four, three, two. Now the other foot. Press that foot down, five, four, three, two, one. Both heels down, inhale. Now on the exhale, right knee down, right hand on the floor, and put your left foot behind you more. Open up that front body, big, five, four, Good, three, lift the hips, there you go, that's it. Two, you're draping over an imaginary fit ball behind you, inhale. Now on the exhale, you can go into hands and knees for a moment and you can open up the other side. I'm gonna turn so I can see you. Yeah, that's it. Act like you're, uh, there's a fit ball behind you, yes, good. Press the hip forward, four, three, two, and then on the one, downward dog. Take a down dog. I'm also gonna grab a sip if you need to, please do. Um, but when I talk a lot, I need to drink, so. Mm -hmm. Down dog. And then relax. Then take an inhale. On the exhale, place your shins down. I'm gonna fold my mat up three ways, so my knees have plenty of cushion because of this next one, uh, Ustrasana, camel, pull your toes under. Imagine there's a tennis ball between your heels so that your heels don't wing out. Left arm goes up and around like a windmill. Put fingers on the heel. Right arm goes up and around like a windmill. Now, if that doesn't serve you, just put your hands on the hips and open up the heart and the front body this way. It's the same intention. In any of these postures, you're wanting to achieve the intention. You're not forcing yourself to look like a book in a, a yoga magazine or anything like that, a picture in a magazine. You wanna get the intention and do it if within the, the parameters of your safe uh, form. So five, four, breathe into that front body. Two, inhale. One arm comes out, the other one follows, child pose, five, And then come up, 
curl the toes, and then lift up right arm back, lift arm lead, uh, joint, open up. <clears throat> I like to make sure we're not throwing our head carelessly, so the neck should not hurt. If it does, it's probably too far back. Tuck the chin even more. The intention is not to straighten the neck. The intention is to wake the, open the front body. Three, two, heels together like a uh, tennis ball's between them. And then one, arm out, arm out, child pose. Push your hips back. Now, if that doesn't serve your knees, you can always leave the hips in the air for puppy dog pose. Five, four, three, two. Now we're going to fix the mat if it was out. Go back into a downward facing dog. Wide hands. Shift your weight. Plank. Five. Four. Shoulder blades are flat on the back. Three. Two. All right. Side plank. If you need that right knee down like we did last time, you can. Five. Then on four, three, two. Now left hand down, side plank. Open up. Five, four, three, two, one. Both hands down, down dog. Inhale. And you can stay in down dog. You can child pose anytime you need it or go back into side plank. Now, in side plank, your left foot can come behind you, and you can take a even more challenging expression of that Maldrasana, sphere pose. Left foot behind you, five, four, uh, three, there you go, two. Now, transition to your side plank, go to your front plank, and then do a side plank the other way. Open up, press, five, four, three, two, inhale, and then exhale, side plank, and do down dog, five, four, three, two, right leg in the air, right foot forward to your hands, inhale, now take your, as long as you need for blood pressure, right knee at 90, Left foot on the floor, but sort of angled out at 45 degrees. Virabhadrasana one. Energize that back knee. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now interlace the fingers at the low back are the best you can do. Your body weight's going to come forward. See how I have a long line from crown to heel? Five, four. It's one long line. It's a strong pose for your front thigh. Three, two. Now, if you'd like to add on, it's really fun. Right leg is strong. Left leg off the floor. Warrior three. You're going to shoot for parallel to the floor. Left hip steers down. Five, four, three. Keep going, two, and then let that left foot go four feet deep, land softly, arms, windmill up, and then come back down. Now take a down dog, inhale your left leg up, exhale your left foot forward, right foot comes down, now your left knee is going to be 90 degrees. You're going to steer your hips to the front wall, this time field goal post arms. Take an inhale. Now on the exhale, hands come behind you. Shift your body weight forward. Make a long line from crown to foot. Now this is weighting your front thigh. Still open up. You're really tall and long. Yeah, there you go. That front thigh is strong. Good, back knee long. Now get ready. Take flight, left knee long. Parallel to the floor, breathing. We're breathing calmly as if we were in tree pose. Five, four, three, two. Inhale, land softly like a cat. 
Windmill the arms up, bring the hands down, take a down dog, shake out any tension. Relax the tension in your shoulders. You're in a down dog. Five, four, three, two. Now inhale, we're gonna exhale and go into frog. Let the shins come down. If you do not prefer frog, you can also take a bound angle. Let me show both. Keep going if you're gonna do frog. This is the bound angle. And it's really nice with the pillow underneath your booty. It keeps the spine from rounding backwards. Or take your frog and you can roll your mat in if you'd like with frog. You can also double up your fist and then put your head down on your uh, hands. Good, big toes could be towards each other. That's a good one. And just relax your neck. I'm only looking at you because I want to see your form. You can relax your neck down, good. That's great. Perfect. Yep, beautiful. Stay relaxing. Letting go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, inhale. Now as you exhale, press your arms into the floor. They're gonna be heavier. Your toes are gonna to be pushing. That way you can lighten your knees and take a child pose. Inhale. On the exhale, come into a downward dog. Down dog. Now we are gonna take a pigeon. So if you prefer not to do pigeon, you can lie on your back and do the figure four. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale the right thigh forward. Stretch the back leg even further back. Good, and hold. Five, good. Four, you can do the lying on your back. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna get down on that doggy, but we'll see, inhale. <laughs> okay, do the best you can to lie down on the puppy that is underneath you, if that's the case. Relax here. <laughs> Great, I love this pose. <laughs> this is where the animals start coming. Okay, relaxing here. Five, four, Three, two. Now the left arm is gonna go underneath your right armpit and your right arm can reach up and towards your toes underneath your left hip. Five, four, three, two, Take another inhale. And then exhale to gently come up in your hands. And if you wanna try the holding on to your foot, you can, that's always fun. Ah, five, and have some creative, good. Just enjoy the hip opener on the, on the floor. Four, three, two. Let that foot go, curl those to it under, and let's do a down dog, Adama Pushpanasana. And that hip should feel so much better. You can usually tell right here, right away. Inhale the left thigh up. Now on your exhale, left thigh forward, pigeon. Ekapada, Raja, Kapotasana. Stretch up. Good. Back leg long, and you can keep walking it back. Four, shoulder blades down, three, Good, and two, take another inhale. Now you can forward fold. Good, Let's stretch out if you want. Mm -hmm. Or double up your forearms so they're resting. Four. Three. Two. 
take another inhale. Now, if you're adding on that twisted pigeon, your arm, right arm goes underneath your armpit, your left hand reaches around to that foot. Great guys. Yeah, reach that arm up. Gently press up. Now, when you come up, you can bend that back knee if you'd like. This is a possibility. Lift that foot. Five. Four. And then exhale to let that foot down. Now, wide hands, downward facing dog. Press your hips back. Good girl. That's great. Wonderful. And four. And three. And two. And on the one, shift your weight into the plank. Five, four, three, two. Now, this is up dog. You drop the hips. And I'm going to put the top of the feet on the floor. Your shoulders are open and hold five. You can always do a sphinx instead. Four, three, two. Now on the one, we are going to lower together. I'm going to turn my mat just so I can see you. You can stay where you are as long as you can see without straining. This is the sphinx, Bhujangasana. Pull the belly up and hold. Your forearms are very strong. You're, you have a little energy in your thighs, but you're not cracking walnuts with your glutes. You have some energy and tone in your hamstrings and, and uh, glutes, but you're not so tense that you're creating uh, excess tension. Now take another inhale. On your exhale, lower down and take those hands beside you, palms face the floor, lift up your back, lift up your thighs, hold, breathe. This also has the name Vimanasana Flight. Five. Four. Three. Two. And recover. Now let your um, hands be underneath your forehead. Now you can bend your knees and you can windshield wipe. This is just a way to relieve tension. European or American, just kind of move your legs around. All right, you're going to do bow pose. If that doesn't serve you, go back to flight, the one we just did. But if you can hold onto your feet or your ankles, that's the next pose. Pull the belly in and lift up. Now, if it's been a while since you've been doing extensions, you can take more child poses between all these extensions. Usually it will get stronger there with practice. Five, four, three, good, two. Relax for a moment. And also you can always do cat cows instead if for some reason belly down just doesn't serve you. Uh, take an inhale, belly pulls up. Now push your hands into your feet, into your hands. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Recover. Good. Now we'll take a child pose together. If you'd like to have your knees wide, it, it lends room for a little bit um, for easier diaphragmatic breathing. So the belly's going to go right down the middle. Five, four, three, two, and, and one. Take an inhale. Now on the exhale, we're going to take a side plank with a tree pose possibility. So you can double up your mat if you'd like, come up to a side plank. I'm going to be on my elbow this time. And with the tree, you can put that foot on your calf or your inner thigh. In fact, I'll do inner thigh. Hold 10, 9, good, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, and then go into a plank and you can do the other side. I'm gonna change just so I can see you, but take that tree, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now lower the booty. We're gonna take the rack pose. Let your feet out in front. And I'm gonna turn so you can see me. Lift your left arm up and behind you, fingers face away. Now this elbow, if you're a bit hypermobile and a lot of people who take yoga classes are, so you really make sure that elbow's not, not backwards. Other arm, so bend it a little. Okay, so we I even bent it some more just to demonstrate that because in live classes, that was the number one cue I would walk around. If your elbows hurt, that's what's going on. You want to micro bend those elbows. Lift your heart. Watch how much more stretch you get when you've lifted your heart. All right, good. Elbows are soft. Very good. You may need to walk your hands closer together from the arm. In other words, not just the wrist, but from the arm or further away from you. But usually if you lift up that sternum, you can get more stretch. Yeah, great. Five, four, Three, two, with it even more, and one. Now I'm gonna demonstrate the other side of that shoulder stretch. It's called dragonfly, I really like this one. So let your knees be on the ground like hands and knees for all fours. Now I'm gonna turn this way so you can see me. Walk your fingers evenly. So look how I'm making an X. This is called dragonfly. Now leave your booty in the air though, not resting on your heels. Now, my left arm is on top, so I'm gonna to look towards my left arm, and there's an outer shoulder stretch, booty in the air. Take an inhale, come back up, shake it out any way you need. We're gonna do the other side, other arm in front, lift up the booty. So what I'm trying to avoid is that it's down here in child pose. In this one, we're crossing our arms equally. Good, because I know there's one called um, thread the needle where you're more on one arm and one arm's in the air. That one is not this. Good, very good. Now both arms, so they're crossed. You see how the biceps are crossed? One hand's going one way, one hand's going toward the other wall. Good, okay. Then whatever arm's on top, in this case, my right arm is, so I'm gonna turn my gaze towards right arm. You can close your eyes again. It's just that you wanna be easy on your neck. This is a shoulder stretch. You're decompressing the spine a little bit too because the booty's higher than the um, head. 10. Five, four, three, two, inhale, and exhale. Good. And so you can go right into a squat. If this doesn't serve you, go into happy baby. Pull your palms down. Good. You're going to feel your palm stretch your forearms and your arms are in between the thighs so they're keeping that little opening in your pectineus yeah 
And if you feel like your heels are off, sometimes you can you just open your feet a little wider and that helps. Sometimes you can just put a mat underneath your heels to give the heels something to rest on or roll up your, roll up your mat. Great. And see if you can relax the, act like you're relaxing the bones, the, the pelvis. Just relax. You, you feel like you sink a little bit more when you do that. So sometimes we accidentally hold on to tension there in the pelvic floor. So you're relaxed. See how much you can relax. How little energy can you put into this pose? Mm -hmm. It's okay to come out and do happy baby. Five. Four. Good, bye, have a great day. Bye Cheryl. Three. Two, beautiful. And then take an inhale and sit that booty down. All right, I am gonna demo a seated twist. You can do this lying down on your back too. Left thigh bends, right foot over. Now, if that just ain't working out, take the left leg long, that might be a better one. Or just lie down and do the knee down twist. <clears throat> Lift up, arm on the outside of that thigh. You see how I caught the arm? Yeah. Now the right hand is going to go up and behind your booty. It's helping you stay tall. Your right foot can be on the ground more and look over that shoulder. Let your exhales rotate you. Five. That's really good. Four. Three, two, inhale, and then exhale, face forward. Let's take that whole position the other way. The right leg is bent like a triangle, right here, near, heel near the left booty. Left foot can be over. Good. Lift up your back. Nice, you remembered. Elbow on the outside, that way it catches that thigh, right? Left arm can be like the Supremes and put your arm out and then put your hand behind your booty. And it's, it's, it's a way to stay upright, that hand is. Now the other arm is just leveraging you. Imagine you have filled a wash rag up with water and now you're wringing it out. Two, take an inhale. Now on the exhale, bring it back and you're gonna extend your legs like a V. If this one does not serve you, lie down and do a, an inner thigh stretch with the legs out with your hands on the thighs. Seated is a little harder uh, if your hips are tighter because your back tends to go back and we don't want that. So I'm offering a couple variations. Now exhaling is going to gradually, it's almost like it wiggles you in. <laughs> Good luck, Pam. <laughs> I see two postures. One's a down dog. That is a dog. And one's an inner thigh stretch. <laughs> so if your dog has come right here, just pet your dog, whatever you need to do. Relax your shoulders. Let your exhale relax you. That's it. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck. You did great. That looks beautiful. 10, 9, 8. Good job, Peggy. 6, 5. 
You're pretty much going to stay here for this next one. Let the left arm, the left hand go towards the right knee and the left arm, the right arm go up and over. Uh, now have some fun. You might rotate a little. Five. Four. Three. Two. Inhale. Good, it feels so good. If you can grab that toe, grab it. It's really fun, you get a little more leverage. Come to the other side and hand to the knee. Arm over. Mm -hmm. Good, doesn't that feel good? Breathing. Rotating. Ah, you guys look so good. Look how far we've come since we've been practicing. Great. Ah, this is really good for shoulder health and for the posture muscle, the lat, uh, one of the posture muscles. Breathe into the rib cage. That's good for energy. If you have a forward upper back, this one's really good for the, uh, ex the external obliques too. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to go right down the middle again. I know we did it, but a lot of times you get a lot easier time. Yeah, just enjoy. Relax, five, good. There you go, Karen, four, that's it. Neck is soft, um, see, see how much that relaxed. This also calms the nervous system to be in this slight flexion. Wow. And then gently come up. Beautiful. Terrific. And we're going to pull it in. Let me just give us one look at that. I'm going to turn. See that little stretch? Mm -hmm. If this doesn't serve you, you can also do a down dog to get that calf. We're getting the knee bent so it's a little more soleus too. But remember, if this doesn't serve you, do a down dog or do something else. Notice what your mind does when it's given a challenge that it can't it thinks it can't do just notice what the response is without judgment and just see if you can choose a better feeling okay i'll just do this inhale now exhale you can do the other side i'm just turning so that you can see me but the right shin can be down the left foot can be up good that's it i like it and it's okay just do a down dog if this doesn't serve you now in this i can feel one is tighter my left one so you can, yeah, right. Just feel that. Five, four, three, two, and on the one, we're gonna come out. Now take five seconds to go down. We're gonna take a Shavasana. Inhale, the knees have probably just a little bend. If you're really mobile in the low back, you don't need it. So, um, but the, mo the bent knee helps you keep articulation in the back. Three, two, now a full body stretch. Inhale, let every tension go. Just one full body contraction, get rid of any tension that you don't need and then let it go in your Shavasana. Totally relax the feet and the ankles. Relax the calves. You're letting the thighs drop even more. Relax the abs. We'll drop the ribs. A modification is to have the feet on the floor, knees bent, so your back is protected. That's just fine. Relax your face. Relax your jaw. And Give yourself permission to stay here. Just five cycles of inhale and exhale. No thought, just the breath. Now take a moment to awaken the fingers and the toes. Slowly come back. 
gently make your way up towards the seated position, one that serves you. Your eyes are gonna stay soft or closed. And just experience the sense of calm that's in the body. Filling up your ribs, filling up your lungs, letting your exhale relieve any tension that doesn't need to be there. Two more times. One more time. And you can gently take your hands to your heart, one over the other, and then just ask yourself, what do you need today to feel nurtured? Just continue the nurturing. Creative answers come when we're in that calm place. So whatever that is, maybe just more water, maybe a walk outside, maybe to read a poem that's meaningful to you. But whatever that is, take that to heart and know just how it feels to have made a promise to yourself that you're gonna continue self-care. Whenever you're ready, allow your eyes to open. Thank you so much. May you continue self-care. Thanks so much for coming. And I hope I see some of you for class tomorrow, Saturday morning at eight. I'll send a link later today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.